hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another live stream here on Pop Culture Network. I, of course, am Dirt, and today I'm being joined by a very special guest. Uh, if I can get the right camera. There he is. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm 40G from the YouTube channel For The Gamers. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. That's all you got to say? Am I wrong? I'm not. I'm not technically disagreeing with that, but would you like people to know anything about your channel or anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> Save yourself. Don't look at it. Fair enough. All right. Today, we are doing a showdown of a bunch of handheld game systems. Two may actually be somewhat decent. We're not sure. Uh, two are more than likely going to be absolutely terrible. We have not opened any of these. We have not played with them yet. Today is going to be the first day of actually messing around with these and trying to do something with them. So first up, I'm going to go with the two more than likely absolutely terrible. This is the Go Gamer Portable from My Arcade. Uh, and as you can see, this is a Game Boy clone, which appears to have 220 ready-to-play video games, 16-bit. These are probably all, like, Korean, uh, you know, made for the cheap game systems that you see all over the place and on third-party websites and whatever. Um, but I, I can't stop myself from buying these things. So to go with the Go Gamer portable we have the gamer v portable which looks kind of like a game boy advance this is also 220 games and i'm betting that a good number of the games on here are the exact same ones on here which are the exact same ones you see on the knockoff game systems that you see in drugstores um and you know maybe walmart ebay places like that so so we have these two systems that are most likely going to be bad. I'll be taking a look at those. But then my cohort over here, he's actually going to be looking at, show up, show yours. What are yours? I have the RetroBit Go, Go Retro Portable. Uh, there's no flap on it. Or, oh, really yes. there is. <laughs> uh, it, again, looks like a Game Boy. Except it's got four buttons. Four? <gasps> Revolutionary. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it back up. How many games? 260 plus. But do any of them look like they're real games? Well, look we have... Cover. Look at the front. I mean, we have Mega Man and Tetris and... Burger Time. That's Burger nice. Time. That's what it is. And if we open it up, there's uh, some more in here. Ghosts and Goblins, Mega Man 3, and Mega Man 2. But no Mega Man 1. It's too original. And I've also got the... Pixel Classic. It says it has 300 plus games. And again, it's Game Boy clone. Okay, and this is also um, licensed from Data East, so it actually has real games on it. Wait, what? Yeah, it's the Data East Pixel Classic. Um, so some of those games are actually real. So read off some of the games that are, that are listed in there. Uh, we have Bad Dudes, Burger Time again. Uh, B Wings, Heavy Barrel, Karate Camp. Karate Champ, maybe? Or Karate Champ, yeah. Hmm. I haven't heard of all of these. these. These are all games that came out when I was a kid. Um, either on the old systems like Atari or Nintendo or in the arcades. Um, stuff like that from back in the day. In fact, some of those are ones I have uh, on these little systems over here. Uh, which maybe I should have pulled out beforehand but like here's burger time we did a video on this you can find it uh if you look further on the channel so this game again is represented bad dudes is also in one of these uh systems so so um so data east um licensed their games on one of those systems we've got some capcom and some other data east and i don't even know mega man konami uh, i think is mega man that was capcom Maybe, oh, yeah, Capcom. Okay. Uh, so there's that. So so there are some real games on there. Some real, actual games, as opposed to these, which are probably just all the knockoff, like, Korean Flash games that they, you know, put on here to make into the system. But we'll see. We'll see if they're different, and we'll see if they're any good. So, uh, and the funny thing is, these My Arcade games 
Uh, my arcade, let's see here. They're made by Dream Gear LLC. Look on those, see who made those. Uh, Small print on the bottom. Uh, cool brands for the Go Retro. And my arcade for the Data East. Right? Here, let me let me see that. Ah. Hey, I did a bit I did a bad. Uh design engineered in the US a registered trademark of Dream Gear LLC. So this is also Dream Gear. This is the same uh, company that makes those other two on there. Now the retro yeah. bit go portable. Um, let's see. Cool brands, Capcom, Retro, Cool Brands. Okay, so this appears to be a different company. So this is actually retrobit.com, Cool Brands Inc. So this this appears like it's actually different from the Dream Gear. So that maybe that's why it has some other games on it. So all right, so there's that. And then for comparison's sake, back here I do have uh, a, a Game Boy uh, Color. No, Game Boy Pocket, it's my mistake. Game Boy Pocket. So we will we will use this as a size comparison with some of these uh, just to see how it actually compares because because it's that's the form factor they're obviously going for on ones like this. Now on this one, you say Game Boy Advance, but it's not really shaped like a Game Boy Advance. It doesn't really look like a Game Boy Advance. Um, it's just kind of in that sideways view. But the other ones... Uh, obviously, the Pixel Classic and whatever, um, those are designed uh, to look like the Game Boy Pocket. So we can use that as a size comparison. Now I'm just going to make sure real quick. Do we have sound? Uh-oh, is sound not working? Uh, oh, wait, I have sound turned off. To sound? Yeah, okay, sound is working. Okay, good. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> so we actually have to go through with this. All right, so do you... Do you want to start? You want me to start? Uh, let's take turns. You can go first. You want me to go first? Okay. I'm going to start with the Go Gamer uh, portable here. Uh, so, again, a nice, nice little window. I mean, it's a nice package. There's an actual magnet in there that keeps it closed, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little smarter than your average bear. Um, let's see. I had a knife here. I don't know what happened to it. I'm going to move it away. Rip open the box. Oh, there's a booklet, a user guide, a manual, the let's door, and a Guglia di Usario. So, I think it's French and Italian. Agario? Agario. That's Libby's favorite game. I thought Agario was uh, Pokemon. Isn't Agario one of the Pokemon? You're disappointing me. Okay. All right, so throw away the box. Grab our system, and the rest of the package is just packaging, nothing else useful. I call There's the system. And, oh, man, it's got a screw on it. I need a screwdriver. Do I have a screwdriver here? Uh, wait, right yes, I do, somewhere, I think. Right behind your pad? Right here? Your shirt? No. No. That's something else. Uh, crud. You want me go, to grab one from the... Yeah, go run into the kitchen and get one out of the junk drawer. <laughs> and you dropped your microphone. Good job. All right. While he's doing that, um, I'm going to take off the sticker here. Playtime will vary depending on the brands of batteries used. For example, well-known brands tend to offer longer battery life what and playtime. Just, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. I can use either kind because it's a Phillips, but I can use a regular screwdriver to get it open. Uh, we've got a little, th there's their little fake game picture. It looks like a, some sort of bubble pop uh, type thing. So we'll take that off. And if we take it the, a look at the system right now, just the way it is, I meant a little screwdriver, a tiny one. Look, this is, this is what he brings me. This is what he, look, look this is, no, a, a, a small, a tiny one. Or one of those ones that looks like the Energizer battery that has a little screwdriver thing on it. All right, all right, whatever. Um, so look at the system. We've got a D-pad, uh, which is four directional. It feels, I don't know, actually they might be connected. I was going to say, it feels like they're unconnected, but they actually are connected underneath. Buttons. Oh, they have a good spring to them. I expected these to be very mushy, and they're not. There's a nice 
spring back. We've got a reset and a start. Um, there's a speaker down here at the bottom. At the top, we've got uh, we've got we've got a uh, like a Ghostbuster symbol. I don't know if I can get this to focus, uh, which is probably the off. Then we've got the power symbol for the on, and then there's it looks like maybe a backlight switch. So maybe if you're in good light, you can just use it normal. And then well, you know what? I've got the Gaia D Usario here. Let's see here, on, off, and light switch. So okay, illuminate device LEDs. So there you go. There's that. And then we've got two plugs down at the bottom. You can see there. One is the AV out, and one is auxiliary out. I'm guessing auxiliary out is your headphones, um, and then the AV out to connect it to a TV. Of course, it doesn't come with any cables um, to do that, but it's a smaller plug. You can see that it's smaller than your standard headphone jack. It's a, what, 2.5 millimeter? Headphone is a 3.5 millimeter. I think that's how that works. Uh, so you can connect it out probably with, um, you know, the um, yellow and white plugs that plug into a TV. You're not getting HDMI out of this, obviously. Is it good enough? All right, let's see here. No, this is a bit. This is a torque screwdriver. Oh my gosh! No, did you pull this out of something? Yes. Just bring in the whole case. A torque screwdriver is not going to work on a Phillips head screwdriver. Oh my gosh! All right, I'm looking around. Do I have something here? Look, I hate. Why? Why do you need screws? Like seriously, why do you need to put screws on something like this? Like, are these really going to run away from you? This is, no, this is to take apart a game console. <laughs> Gosh. This is, this is why you gotta plan this stuff ahead of time. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to see if I've got another screwdriver sitting around here while he's running around doing that. Hopefully I can find something so his time is completely wasted uh, doing this. I used to have one in my pen cup here, but I apparently don't have it in there anymore or I used it. I've got stuff all over my desk here because I am a slob and uh, I never keep things organized. Uh, let's see, micro screwdriver. I hate, first of all, okay, so this company, um, Dream Gear LLC, stop putting screws in things. Uh, and if you're saying that's a safety thing for little kids, little kids that would pull out the battery and eat them uh, should not be playing game systems. Um, they do not need screens, so uh, so we'll go with that. Um, anything? All right, we're gonna go ahead and open this other box as I just dump a bunch of stuff. We're gonna, I guess, we'll just go ahead and open this other box so you can see we've got a bubble. Philip, the big drawer, like second from the bottom. It's like bottom drawer. Then you open that big one. There should be a black case. Then check the one up above. There should be a black case with little screwdrivers in it. Oh, my goodness. It's live. That's why we do it live, because live is, live is fun. Live is good times. Okay, so the My Arcade, this is the, uh, the Gamer V Portable. I'm, I'm guessing five. It's probably like the fifth version of one of these Gamer Portables. So maybe if you have the Gamer 4 and you didn't get enough games, you get the Gamer 5, maybe there are different games in this. Let's hope this one does not require a screwdriver. We have another manual in here. Oh, this has this is a lot more languages on it. So this is a lot better. User guide, manual, D, look, yeah, whatever. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, that's gonna go away, that's gonna go away. That's gonna go away. Here's, yes, a screw. Again, with the screw. <sighs> At least it has a different picture. We've got some sort of uh, platformer knockoff thing. It looks like Donkey Kong Jr., maybe, uh, in, in some sort of level. So we will take that off. That should work. There should be something in there I can use. All right. And it's just one. Is that? I don't know what that is. Well, that might not be the one. Probably I don't know what that is. Just hold on to that. All right, so this, the Gamer uh, 5 portable, it has an on-off. It's got the select start, the AB button. It's the same pad. Buttons have the same, can you hear that? 
have the same little click to them, so that's good. We have on off, but there's no LED button uh, switch on there, and the, we we do actually have volume volume buttons on the side. Which this other one, I don't think this one has any sort of volume. Oh, it's on it's on the side over here. So in here, it's a, a single button uh, covering the two inputs. Whereas here, it's two separate buttons. But but honestly, they both they they feel the same. Like it's the same plastic. It's the same. They're the same width. Uh, which you can see here. It's the same plastic coating, uh, same size screen, D-pad's the same, buttons are the same. They're uh, almost the same size. This other one's just a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit wider, uh, but you're getting the same size screen, so it doesn't really add much to it. Now, if we take it and compare it to this Game Boy Pocket, uh, you can see that they are the same size. Uh, so... If you had a Game Boy Pocket, it's the same size. Now, as far as thickness goes, uh, it's actually just a tiny hair thinner than the Game Boy Pocket. Uh, but it's very close, very, very close to being the same size. So, uh, let's see. As far as button layout goes, uh, it's... <laughs> okay, so power switch is in the same spot on both of these. Volume is... It's a dial, of course, on the Game Boy. It's buttons on here um, but you know otherwise you can see that the setup uh, the uh, select and start are down here on the Game Boy whereas they're up here on this other thing uh, but yeah but honestly these two feel like it's the same product just reconfigured a little bit but we'll see if the games are different all right so let's open this up let's find a tiny screwdriver like this size screwdriver yeah, you mean the ones I couldn't find because they're in that thing? Yeah, well, I, did, I said it was in the drawer. I didn't say it was loose in the drawer. All right, so here we go. I'm going to get this backing off. And this is three AAA batteries. AAA, I guess, is the, the minor league of batteries. And then uh, whatever. All right, uh, and the batteries all go the same direction. That's weird. You know, usually you have to... Uh, you know, have them go back and forth, back and forth, but in this, they all go the same way. Uh-oh, spaghetti Oh, This is different. Yeah, it's different. You put your mic back on. I'm sure it was nice and loud while you were doing that. Okay. I can blow on it if you want. No, that's okay. All right, here we go. Whoa, look at that. Look how washed out that screen gets when it turns oh my gosh. to the sides. Quality product right there, ladies and gentlemen. Up and down, not too bad, but that side to side is pretty bad. Now, I don't know if you can see the lights uh, that light up here. Let me see if I can. I don't know if you can tell that there's a difference between the, the lights on and lights off because we've got the bright light shining. You can kind of see a little bit that there's a difference there. Yeah. The, the buttons actually all light up and the, the little my gamer my arcade logo at the bottom actually lights up here Thanks. as far as the games go it says family sport 220 and one Ooh, family Wii sport i love we sports all right so press the a button and okay so here's here's a look at the menu uh and the games on it so main menu uh we're looking at tennis Mini game, what is this? Education, mini fighter, racing, swim, fencing, run, crazy moto, city battle. All right, so you can see here's a whole bunch of games on here, and they're separated, so it's kind of like, like it's look, trying to do like a Wii Sports thing or something. All right, so if I go into mini game. All right, so now in the minigame menu, we've got more games. We've got puzzle. We've got action. We've got action. venture. Not adventure, but venture games. So maybe you're a venture capitalist and you're trying to put money in something. I don't know. Uh, table, sports, relax. What is relax games? Okay, so now we get into a list of actual games. Blinking Jewel, Linking Pet. Homeward Journey, Find Fault, Pair Match, Brick Blaster, 
mini B cartoon match. Oh, and it'll just keep going. It's going how far down? If I go up, will it circle around back? 26. There's 26 games in here. All right, so let's go back. We'll grab Sport. Rally, GT Racing, Highway Racing, Track Racing, Motorboat, Mini Soccer, Table Football. 19 games there. We go to Table. 100 Floor, Sub Warfare, Bubble Destroyer, Maze Combination. 28 games there. And you can see these are all just, just links of games. Now, it does say Bomberman. Oh. No, it just says it's Bomb Man, not Bomber Man. We're <coughs> gonna grab that one. See, it's and it is it is indeed a Bomber Man uh, ripoff game. It's not actually Bomber Man, but it is there. So okay, I'm gonna hit reset. Reset takes us back to the main menu. So if I hit um, table tennis, so table tennis actually takes me straight into a game. That looks like a Wii Sports knockoff. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, so. So it's like Mario Tennis Aces, except it's on the Game Boy. Is that the little It, it looks like it's, it's trying to be some sort of Wii Sports knockoff. Like, these were probably included in a thing that looked like a Wii that sold at CVS Pharmacy. A lot of these are done... Like, if you see... Like, here's a basketball game. It's done through the eyes of the person playing. Just like a Wii sports-type game. So I'm guessing this was included in one of those Wii sports knockoff uh, systems. All right, so minigame. Education. Uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, find the largest number, number sequence, missing letter, find the picture, find the shape, colors, find the differences, find the law, okay, let's find the law, let's see what we got here, okay, so we've got, we've got one apple, we've got two apples, we've got three apples, what comes next? Four apples. I don't know. I've got four apples. I've got three apples. I've got two apples. I've got five apples. Four apples. We're gonna, okay, we're going to try. We're going to try four. We're going to see what happens. Oh, we were correct. How do you like them apples? Sorry, couldn't make, couldn't make it. All right. I was going to make that joke. All right. So, yeah. Um, when we look at this... Um, Almost all of these games look like, like they're Wii Sports knockoffs until you get to the mini games, and then these are a lot of the same uh, knockoff junk games. None of these are, you know, actual Nintendo. Uh, these are not ROMs that they've dumped on here uh, that match up. These are like, when you get one of those game systems that says like 530 games or something like that, and there'll be like you know, 200 NES ROMs, and then you've got a bunch of junk games. This, these are the junk games. So if you just want to play the junk games without the uh, old NES ROMs, then, then that'll do it for you here. All right, so now I'm going to switch it over to you. <coughs> you pick one of those. I'm going to start with the Data East Classic. I'm going to save the one with Mega Man on the cover for last. Because okay. Mega Man is cool. So anything special about the packaging? Um, it has the flip open, but, like, every single bad con handheld console has that. Is there a magnet? No. Uh, yes. Hello, I am smart. Should I just rip the package? Yeah, just rip it apart. I r ripped open the wrong side. It has, like, tape the entire way around. There's not enough space for me to get my fingers in. Okay, um, here. Here, use this um, razor blade. Oh, really? You trust me enough? If you can figure out how to use it, we, we might be here a while. Wait, which part is sharp? Here, let me lick it. What are you trying to show? I, the cut. I, I'm so bad. 
Well, while I've tried to figure out how to open this, why don't you show off the next one? No, <laughs> you got you got two of those to open. Come on. You want to use the sharp part. That is, is that not the sharp part? That is the sharp part. You just rub it across. The, yeah, all the way across. There you go. Rip. Rip it. See, we got to get that ad revenue money, so I'm purposely taking longer. Yeah, that's not how that works. Oh, oh, that's just, oh, the, just top. the hanger. Yeah. The top, yeah. Well, before we actually show it off, we also got a Pixel Classic user guide. Um, in a bunch of different languages. It literally just tells you how to play the console, use the console. So, pop it out. It actually has a very nice retro look to it. It actually looks like it's an old pixel. Pixel. Uh, I don't know how close my camera is. So. Keep keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. There you go. All right. Now, now you're like way. Now you're right in the screen. All right. If you also look, it has a sticker game on it that's not even put flat. Which we, well, here wait. Compare it to to this. This is actually the Pixel Classic. Pixel Classic is actually bigger than the Game Boy, which is. Cool, I guess. Is it I, thicker? No, they appear to be about the same thickness. Is, is everything about the Pixel Classic look like a pixel? Yeah, I mean, pretty much. You even got two buttons and D-pad. Although the uh, Stern Select buttons that are down the bottom on Game Boy are up at the top on this, so that's revolutionary. All right, what about like volume and? Uh, well. All we have are a plus sign and a minus sign. That I assume that's volume. I actually don't even know if you can see that. It's like already. Yeah, we can see it. All right. We've also got uh, on off five uh, V in power power A V out and A V out. So like wait, a is there both A V or is one A U X? Oh, A V and A U A U X. Yes, sorry. So A U X is auxiliary. So that's going to be your headphone port. What's AV? Audio visual. That's to hook it to a TV. Right. So do they look like the same size or are they different size plugs? Um, the AUX is slightly bigger. Not by much, though. Okay. And this, the back just slides right off. You don't have to send... No screws? Yeah, you don't No just... screws? What? Hey, you say you're giving me the good ones. <laughs> but again, this takes... This one actually takes four AAA... Triple A batteries. Yeah. And show, they all go the same way? Well, hold on. Yeah, they all go the same way. And you drop it. All right, show, wait, show the batteries in there. So they can see, they all go the same they way. They all go the same way. It's okay. confuzzling. Does your... Uh, Battery cover have the playtime will vary depending on the brand of yeah. batteries used. It, like, is it literally said the same way? Is it the same sticker? It's, uh, well, the, the sticker is a different size. Um, but playtime will be, for example, well known battery brands tend to offer. But, yep. So it's the exact same disclaimer that it, that's basically saying don't buy cheap batteries from the dollar store. Basically, what it's saying is spend more money on the thing that's bad. So here, let's just pull off this fake game real quick. Oh, it's like a real sticker. It's not just like... It's a real sticker. Oh, no. It's ripping? Yeah. All right. Take a look at that. See, it's it's leaving the uh, residue behind. The sticker came apart. Uh, let's try from another corner. Maybe we can, maybe we can finesse it a little more. Get it to come off without... Being too bad. All right, all right. It's, so it's a real sticker, not one of those good stickers that just peels right off. Also, we have a bit of manufactured goof, and there's some blue stuck out of it. Is it oh. Are you even on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some, like, yellow, blue. Back it up a little bit. Yeah, we can see that. Okay. That's kind of... I don't like that. I'm going to have to pick at it. Is it crusty? No, it's, like, it's fresh. Really? Yeah, it's gooey. It's, it's been sitting in a box for, hot box for 
four months, five months? <laughs> Something like that. So, let's pop it on. So the first thing we have is a uh, bad oh, wait, dude. Wait, how 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 good does the screen work when you move it around? Um, it's actually, from what I can tell, it looks pretty nice. Works pretty good. But the colors do look like they invert at a high angle. But not too bad. But it does wash out. Okay. So what's the plus minus? Volume. All right. So first off, we got. Bad dudes. Then we got breakthrough, caveman ninja. Those are all real arcade games. Heavy barrel, mm -hmm. side pocket, B wing, karate champ, burger time, curly monkey two, cut fruit. Um, let's go. All right, I think those are starting to get in the knockoff. Yeah. So you had like what six, eight games that were real games? And yeah. Then... Wait, there there was Mega Man on this. One. I'm looking for the Mega Man. No, Mega Man's on the other one. Oh. Mega Man's on the Go Retro. Dang it. Well, let's see how... Ooh, there's slots. You want to play the slots? Sure. I know you like slots. So, A. Oh, start. No, no, no. Oh, it's like Pokemon music. All right, hold up close so we can see it. Pokemon music. Okay. And so... Can you hold it towards the camera and press the button? So you can't see it, but we can? I can, like, make No, it. nothing's working. Oh, what's it doing? You, I think you paused the game or something? What are you doing? How do you play? How do you play slots? Oh, uh, spin. There it goes. It's spinning. It's spinning... You gotta learn how to hold things steady. Okay. So we won. Absolutely nothing. Was that worth playing? No, send help. <laughs> so, do we just turn it back off? Is again? there like a reset? Yeah. And thank goodness it sets you back to the number you were on, not just at number one. Okay, that's good. So. Look, do you see, like, look through and see if there's anything that looks like a, it might be a Bomberman knockoff, or... Oh, I found the uh, Tron game you like, but instead there's a Panda Discus Throw. Oh, wait, let me see this. All right, we're gonna... Discus Throw. Oh, this is three, this is 308 in one on the menu. What did it say on the box? Uh, 300 plus. Oh, 300 plus. So, so, <laughs> so if you look at that menu, it's 308 and 1. Uh, a lot of times, that's what you end up with, um, like, bootleg Nintendo cartridges that have extra stuff. Oh, this is discus like the Olympics. Not like... Oh, the Olympics is boring. But there's a game just called Girl. Wait, what's the, what's the cover of that? I'm, I'm worried. Oh. It's it, like a Mario knockoff. No, it looks like a RPG Maker game. Okay, so look through. Do you see anything that looks like a Bomberman or anything that looks like something um, you might recognize? There's a lot of ones called Animal. Just, just Animal. Oh, I have Animal in the title. Um, well, I've hit. I've, I've hit 160. I haven't found a Bomberman one yet. Do you have any any there that you look like you want to play? Police versus Thief. Try it. Show us the screen. Wait. This is Violent Crossing? What does that say? Violent Chasing. Violent Chasing. Oh, it's this game. Oh, it's uh, like cars on a road. And I just reset. Hit. I just died. All right, hit start. Stage one, player one, time to do what? Wait, am I? It's probably all direction pad, isn't it? It's not. Oh, that's why I can't go back. I've been trying to go backwards. I can't go backwards. And they just froze me? I don't. <laughs> Revolutionary. All right, hit reset. Go back to the menu. 
All right, go back to the beginning. Go back to the, the first games, the real games. I have to go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah. There's literally a game just called Tower. Hmm. All right. So we bad dudes break through caveman ninja heavy barrel side pocket B wings karate champ burger time try burger time and it looks like the same ROM that's on the other this is probably the old Nintendo ROM watch out for the food oh Wait, food? I'm still supposed to be... You're running away from the food that's trying to get you while you make your burgers. And you're, you have salt and pepper to pause them. And you're dead. But no, I got one up, though. It just said one up. No. Oh, my progress saves. That's cool. So this does look like the Nintendo ROM, not an arcade ROM. I know it makes a difference to some of you guys out there. Some of you freak out at me when I don't make the distinction between the arcade or the NES, so whatever. There you go. Use a, use a pepper on them. I don't... I don't know what's a pepper or not. I didn't even know there was a pepper or something. Okay, so... I think it's time for your next one. So, this is what... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start looking at the other one, but while I'm doing that, I want you to scroll through that. Turn down the volume, but scroll through that and try to find some games that you actually like on there. Oh, the buttons light up. If, oh. you, if you put yep, it on the yep. light switch. Yep. Okay. All right. So now we've got the Gamer V, perhaps Gamer 5. Ooh, checkers. Portable. And so let's... This one does not have a separate switch for uh, light versus power on and off. It's just an on and off. And this is the 220-in-1. So, again, that may be a ROM uh, or a you know bootleg NES cart, 220-in-1, or some of those game systems that have that. Curly Monkey 2. Thunder Curly Monkey 2 was on yours, yeah. wasn't it? Okay. And Curly Monkey 1. Thunderman, Vanguard, Battle Plan, Championship Boat, Curly Monkey. Oh, Curly Monkey. Okay, so if you look at the little screenshot there, that is what was the uh, sticker that was on the front. I said look kind of like Donkey Kong Jr. There you go. Enchanter, Superhero, Amusement Park, Backgammon, Backstroke, Balloon Labyrinth, Chinese Checkers. Like these are all, again... Uh, just kind of knock off Heroes Mice Jumping Kid. If you want to hop over to my thing again real quick, on this on the big screen, it just has a, just random two white pixels, maybe that's three. Whoa, 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 back up, back up, back up. You're fuzzy. What are you trying to point to? It just has random white pixels at the top, like the sprite wasn't fully completed. Oh, I think you just have, I think, maybe stuck pixels in your display. If you go into a game, are those pixels still there? No. Okay. It's on the menu. And now they're in a different spot. Oh, so they're over to the side now? Yeah. So maybe, it's like... Maybe maybe there's like some sort of object, they, like the logo or something they're supposed to have, but it was unfinished. And it's just pixels. That's weird. Okay, so... I'm looking through my uh, 220 and 1 games here, and these are all... like. Occasionally, you'll get some of these systems where they've got, um, like, say, Mario Brothers, but they take out the Mario, so it's just, like, Brothers, or they put Brothers World or something like that. So it's the Mario games, but they, they change the title screen. I'm looking at this. I don't see anything like that. I see a lot of those panda games. Oh, here's Shot Put. You can see the panda on there. It looks just like the discus throw um, panda. So there's, a, again, a lot of these are just, like, dumb knockoffs. Not even modified ROMs. Um, so you're not even going to get those games kind of knocked off on here. All right, let's, let's try something. Ghost Castle. Okay, so there's, there's Ghost Castle. You're like, all right, that looks all right. Why not? Let's uh, see what happens. Let me try playing backward. What is going on? I can move, but the buttons don't seem to do anything. Oh, is this, am I going up and down like elevators? What is going on here? 
Oh, I can shoot up. Oh, okay, this seems familiar. I think this was an old Atari game, maybe? Okay, so my little guy can shoot up or shoot down and move back and forth, but he can't actually change the level he's on. Nothing really to do with ghosts. Uh, or Ghostbusters. Castle, just... So that is a knockoff. Of course, I go back, and it takes me right back to the beginning of the menu. So I'm back at number one. So if you're playing game 168... And now you want to play 169, you got to go all the way through the list again. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to go through these uh, just to see if I can find any that are actually look like actual ROMs that have been messed up, but they are not. They're just really... These are all just cheap knockoff games. And I wonder... Uh, like, I know for a long time, you couldn't get, like, the NES in places like China uh, because of the trade restrictions. Uh, you know, China and Japan don't historically get along that well. So I'm wondering if these were games that came out on their, like, knockoff retro NES systems back in the day uh, before they were able to make some sort of deal to get an actual um, Nintendo-branded system there. Okay, so... So these are the games. A lot of these games look exactly the same um, to other systems we've looked at in the past that look like arcade machines, um, but only had a... Uh, I just got blown up. Uh, looked like an arcade machine, but it was all knockoff games. These are just cheap knockoff games. Again, not even like they took NES ROMs and changed the title screen. These are just garbage games. So... I mean, honestly, this uh, Go Gamer Portable and this Gamer 5 Portable or Gamer V, whatever you prefer, these are just junk garbage systems. Um, these retail for like 20 bucks at places like Walgreens. Uh, that's where you're going to find them. That's how high quality they are. They have them at Walgreens. Um, but, but the games on these are, are absolute garbage. Um, so I would suggest don't buy these. Don't don't ever buy these for any reason. All right, now unless you have a grandchild you hate. What uh, what are you playing? Uh, I don't know, but you play as this sentient purple ball, and you have to collect green balls while dodging uh, stars and purple Pac-Man and evil flowers. Are you enjoying it? Actually, yes, it's pretty fun. <laughs> Although, here, I'm gonna shift my chair. That's the light. All right. How well can I see it? Not, not well. Yeah, to be fair, all you need, all you need is the D-pad. So then you come down here. And you just try to squeeze it in there. You can't really see what you're doing. Uh, oh, and there we can. Oh, and I died. And stage three, restart. Yeah, the colors just kind of show up washed out on the camera. Yeah. Well. Okay. So, do you like? Do you like the look of that being pixelated? Yes, actually, I really do. I mean, because that looks like a neat thing to put on your shelf. Even if the games aren't great, that looks like a neat thing to at least put on display as a conversation piece. The, the pixelated look of it at least makes something interesting about it. It's, it's, it's not just square. And so some of those games you might actually play. So there are real games on there, but then some of the knockoffs you might actually play on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so what's your last one there? The Retrobit Go Retro Portable. And does that have a window? It does. Now, this doesn't have the cool pixel look, although it does look like um, not Game Boy. It, well, it does look like a Game yeah, Boy. Yeah, it looks like it also it has that like little cutoff bit down there, which makes me think of like something else as well. Well, or the like original just, Game Boy was curved at the bottom. You can see yeah. if compared to the pocket, the pocket was only curved on one side. Oh. Okay, rip it open. How different is the instruction book? Oh, it's completely different. Oh, it's color. Look at, oh, look how it's nice. Colored. Instruction manual looks like it. Wow. And uh, explain. So then, this is. The packaging, this is the thing inside the packaging. It's so 
so big, they have to use even bigger... Well, it's actually stuck in there pretty well. And then... It's just cardboard and... Cardboard. Yeah. All right, now, look at the game system first. Volume, uh, plugs, power. Uh, we had AV out again, power, and then headphones. Actually, it has the little symbol. Oh, yeah, we just hit. Uh, we've got a volume, actually, slider. Or a wheel. Wheel, whatever. And then we have on-off right here. Okay. We also have a small light on the top. We also have another sticker. Careful. Did you just rip it? You just ripped off the tab? Oh, there's two stickers! Really? Yeah, there's the small one, and then there's this. That's another real sticker. Well, let's put the batteries in it. But and it's actually different this time. It doesn't look like they all go up the same way. So no screw on that one, and then the batteries go back and forth. Yours is the only one that has a screw. Uh, I'm sorry. Two of mine needed a screw. Two oh. of them. Oh, okay, sorry. So that's, wow, so it, they actually do go in differently. How heavy does it feel compared to the Pixel? Oh, it's very light. The, the Pixel is like... Got some meat to it? Yeah, it's got, it's kind of heavy. It's a brick? It's not a brick, but you know, it's, it has some weight to it. Yeah, it's, it's, it feels pretty solid. Although, however, this only has the weight from the batteries in it. It's really, it's really not that heavy. So let me put that back on. And hey, can you pull up the sticker for me? Because I know I'm just gonna ruin it. You're the dad. You have to do everything. We do. We. I will point out that is the Burger Time logo. So the officially licensed Burger Time logo on the. Oh, the sticker covers the whole window. So the other stickers that we're covering would just cover the uh, LED part. But this is covering all of the glass, so it's actually providing more protection. And this one we actually got from GameStop, um, as opposed to uh, online from a shady retailer or at a discount drugstore. Well, you know how quality GameStop is. <laughs> well, they're more quality than buying your game systems at Walgreens. That's true. All right. Oh, and then, and then, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a oh. film, uh, a, a plastic film on yeah. top of the glass. Yeah. No, I want to rip it off. It's my thing. You're only going to take off the sticker. And I scratched it completely, and there's no going back. Wait, where? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to take that off. It's like yeah, glued you, on. No, you are. You sure? It's like kind of glued on. Uh, no, wait, wait. What are you... Are you peeling the... Yeah, yeah, that plastic. Yeah. Yeah. That's just a protective Yeah, it left, some it left some residue on it. Anyway, let's turn it on. Did you turn it on? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Let me check the batteries. Put the batteries in backwards. Left side. No. There. What about the... Yeah. There, there you are. Mm -hmm. They're backwards. Oh, the batteries are in backwards. The batteries are in backwards? Mm -hmm. Take two. All right, now we're going to actually turn it on. Whoa. Crap. Uh, well, we're playing eight eyes now. Oh, can and you the press the button? Lights on. Eight Eyes is an actual game. Nothing works. Oh, there we go. Start. One player. Whoa. Uh. Oh, look. It's Castlevania. Should I go through the giant doors? Oh. What are your buttons there? You have four buttons. This is T, A, T, B, A, and B. So I think that's Turbo A and Turbo B for like multi-shot. Jump. Just do A and B. Just do A and B. Ah, there we go. I had to punch the switch to open the door. Yeah, this is Castlevania. Hmm. 
Well, I know there was an actual game called Eight Eyes, but I don't know that I ever played it. Is, is Eight Eyes just Castlevania? I guess it's possible. Yeah. This is Castlevania, but instead, all the, like, bad... I'll just leave it. My phone yeah. is ringing somewhere. Uh, eight eyes. Yeah, that's that is eight eyes. That's what eight eyes is supposed to look like. So featured games, eight eyes, 1942, 1943. That, a, those are real games. Bad dudes again. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna we'll try to see if I can find Mega Man. Mega Man two and Mega Man three. Look at that, like, screenshot though. That's uh, that's the wait. Best. Back up. Back up. Back up. That's the best image for your game. Yeah, but that way you know what the game is. I actually press A instead of pressing start. That's oh. Oh. Normal. Because if I do difficult, I'm dead. Start. All right. Uh, Metal Man. All right, so when you play, I want you to try to pay attention to, like, if there's lag on the buttons. Like, when you press shoot, is it actually shooting, or does it take a second? When you press jump, is it actually jumping, or does it take a second? Wow, this is real lag, man. No, there's, like, no lag. But you still <laughs> died within five seconds. <laughs> the thing was forcing me backwards. Oh, there's an E-tank. I don't know. Uh, wait, is that a healing item? Yeah, that's a healing item. Oh! Alright, so how do you get back to the menu to play more games? Reset. And it says back to the main menu. Back to number one? Yeah. Oh, so that does kind of stink. Alright, let's play Mega Man 3. Well, no, no. I want you to look at some of the other... Like, keep going through the games. Try to figure out where the real games... They have Wait, feature... what's that menu there? Feature games, extra games. All right, so how many games are in the featured game? 37. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad. All right, now, the extra games. Uh, 100 meet... There's 225 in this, so... These are the good ones. Okay, but do you have... Uh, what is that? Chili Monkey or whatever the thing was? What was that one? Oh, bomb time! Hey, hey, bomb time! Make it bomberman. But do you have curly monkey? Do you have champion Actually, boat? Do you have uh, superhero? Yeah, this is bomberman. All right, Looks like I'm playing bom bomberman. But it's not bomberman. It's knockoff bomberman. I'm playing not bomberman. Oh, but wait, is it? You're actually going through a level. You're not just like in a rectangle isn't fighting. This, dudes. Isn't that what original Barman was? No, you were just in a rectangle fighting the other dudes. Oh, I thought original Barman there was like levels. No, oh. this is like a platformer. They made Bomberman into a platformer. Well, not really a platformer, it's just. Well. Oh, I just killed a dude. I yeah. Did. All right, go back to the menu. Okay, go back in featured game. Hey, wait, let me see it this way. Let me see. Well, let's let's take a look here. Featured games. Um, we we'll take a look at some of these. Okay, so eight eyes, forty-two, forty-three, bad dudes, bad street brawler, bionic commando. That's pretty cool. Buggy popper, burger time. I'm gonna see if this burger time is the same. Yeah, it looks like it's the same ROM. Uh, yep, it's the same Nintendo ROM. No, wait, is this Nintendo? Yeah, this looks like the Nintendo ROM. Wait, there's different ones. Oh, yeah, because they made it for ColecoVision. They made it for Intellivision. Why did so many Snake have Vision in the name? There were a bunch of different game consoles um, back in the early 80s that just did that. Because you played it on your television. So it was an Intellivision. See, and it was smart. All right. Uh, so we do have Select Start and then the Reset. Um, okay, so Burger Time. Music is pretty good, though. Codename Viper, Commando, Dark Lord, Dash Galaxy, Exit Eyes, Ghosts and Goblins, Gunsmoke, Higgy Morrow, Legendary Wings, Mega Man 2, 3, Final Fight, Motor City, Mutant Virus, Nightshade, Noah's Ark. Oh! Target Renegade. Play Noah's Ark. Tetris, 
Okay. We can side, use wait. Church. Side side pocket section Z rescue mission. Oh, I like the rescue mission. The embassy rescue the embassy mission. Uh, the original Street Fighter 2020 Strider. Okay, so there are games on here that you will recognize. Um, Noah's Ark. Oh, copyright Pico Interactive 2017. So this isn't the one where they took Wolfenstein and had you going through collecting the animals. This is a different game. Um, so this is the actual good one? Wait, 2017? That's new. Yeah. So this is not the old Nintendo game or Super Nintendo game. This is uh, something with bunnies. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting rabbits. Uh, and a Roman soldier just came and captured a bunny. And you, I guess, are going to be the other bunny that has to go rescue it. So Yeah, that has, that has to do with Noah's Ark. That's work. perfect Noah's Ark. All right. Um, so if we look at the extra games here... Uh, let's see, let's flip through Ariel here. Where's uh, Circle Racing, Close Quarters, Chinese Checkers. Okay, so that monkey game isn't on here. Deuces Wild, Doom War, Fishing Tour, Final Blood. Okay, yeah, 2004. So this game I've definitely played before on some of those other systems where you had, um, it looked like an arcade machine, but it just had oh, knockoff Oh, I games. even recognize it. Yeah. Um, That's saying something, too. I have a memory. Oof. But, yeah, every time it takes you back to that main menu, every time you reset. So there's no way, again, if you're playing number 161 and then you want to go to 162, it's going to reset you back. There are some things on here. Okay, Primitive Man, Primitive Woman, those are on the other ones. Police versus Thief, which is the same one you yeah. were playing before. Um, so, yeah. So, a lot of the, the same knockoff cheap games that we see on a lot of these game systems. So, what do you think... What do you think the chances are you would actually play these? Oh, not very high. <laughs> Why not? Uh, because I can play Fortnite. Okay. <laughs> okay. What if, you're, what if I sent you to your room? And you had no tablet, but I'll, but you could play one of these systems. Would you play this or would you read? I mean, honestly, I pro I'd rather play this because I can mindlessly tap buttons. Compare the two, though. Which one? Do you, which one do you think had better games? Well, well better games easily go retro, but if or go retro, yeah, go retro or portable. But if we were talking like quality high level games, easily, easily the <laughs> one I just broke. You didn't break it. Uh, I think... Although, this one looks better for shelf life. This one looks better for use life. And that one actually... Wait, hold the, the Go Retro back up. Not, that's the pixel. The, the Go Retro pocket or whatever. That actually... It's thicker like an actual old Game Boy. It's shaped more like the actual old Game Boy. That's what I was thinking of. Old Game Boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah the original Game Boy. Because that's, that's the one I played, right? No. I had the one that flipped open. That was the Game Boy Advance SP. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> that was completely, completely different. Okay, so just to recap, these are garbage. If you see these at Walgreens or CVS or any place you happen to be, you see these game systems and you think, oh, it might be fun to play some old retro games. Don't. These are terrible. Are we giving them away too? Follow him on <laughs> Facebook or whatever. Now... Let me see those. Now, the Data East Classics Pixel One, it's nice. Um, it's not too bad. It, it looks cool because of the, again, the, the pixel corners, the way they, they made those look pixelated, the square buttons. It just has a neat aesthetic to it. Uh, something on your shelf, uh, you know, you, you take to work, you sit on your desk. Oh, you did crack the screen, kind of. <laughs> but it's just the plastic cover. Um, but uh, great. Um, so it is. It is kind of cheaply made as far as this plastic cover on the screen. It's just plastic. It's not glass or anything. Um, and the games you get a handful of some pretty good games from the Data East library uh, that you find on these mini uh, My Arcade um, machines. But for the most part, it, again, uh, a lot of junk games. This one, the Go Retro Portable, I actually think is the best of the bunch. 
Um, it may not look as cool as the, the other one with the pixels. It's got more quality games that you're going to like. Um, and looking through the knockoff games, you know, there are a bunch of knockoff games. Um, that's going to be up to you whether or not you play any of those. It looks to be a lot of the same ones that are on all the systems, so that part's kind of a wash. But the featured games, this has more of the featured games of actual games that you will recognize from retro systems that you can play on here. This has a handful of them, not quite as many. Looks a little cooler on your shelf, but, but not as, as good to play with. Um, so I think overall, this retro bit Go Portable is going to win the battle of these, uh, these game systems. The battle of the bands? What do you have to say? I have to say, uh, if you liked the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to subscribe to either of our channels, most likely his because he actually makes good content. And then he includes me. Make sure to subscribe and share because... Sharing is apparently what works on YouTube. Sharing and sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Yes, that's that's the way it's going to say. If you don't share, you don't care. And what about your channel? Where can they find you? On youtubecom slash user slash for the gamers or PD buddy, PD buddy slash PD buddy. <laughs> but the channel's called for the, but it's for the game. The number four. Ha <laughs> ha. For the gamers. It's a play on words. I don't like it. But you came up with it. Yeah. So that's your fault then. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Sign off!